cracking, everybody. Welcome to Boo TV. While you're here, do me a big favor and like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell so you stay notified whenever we upload a new video. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate you for watching. Thanks for the support. And let's get into the topic for today. The Los Angeles Lakers lost at home to the Dallas Mavericks 119 to 115. LeBron James played a ridiculous amount of minutes in that double overtime loss. LeBron logged 24 points with 47 minutes. 9 for 28 shooting, 0 for 7 from three point land, 6 for 10 from free throw land, 16 big rebounds and 9 assists, 2 steals, 3 turnovers for a negative three in the plus minus. Before I start talking about it, let's check out LeBron James' highlights, shall we? Going to the paint, using that big body block, stays with the play, gets the uh, the ball back and lays it right back up is LeBron James. Great pass, all in one motion. Catch it, still in the air, drop it off to the big fella. Trey, baby, Trey. And so the Lakers, just their second made three. They finished the quarter with a bang. Bertans on the catch and shoot. Gabriel. I feel like most of these LeBron highlights are going to be actual rebounds. <laughs> Good, strong take, man. The defense. Uh, not just, I'm not just saying it's because LeBron play. I'm just talking about what I've seen just through the league. Defense is just. I understand it makes it harder for the players to defend, but still, you can still see when a team has good defensive pressure or when a player has good defensive pressure or not. It's just, I, I miss the good old days, man. I miss the 90s, early 2000s basketball, man. Nice give and go there. I'm not give and go, but bounce pass. Lakers four for 17 from beyond the arc. Schroeder finally gets one to go. Just his second. Schroeder's been playing like straight ass lately. Ass. I was going to say, that was a hell of a pass. It got intercepted, but still got it over. Good rebound, good putback by Bron Bron. Clearing bodies out. He finishes with the putback. Hardaway Jr. takes off Christie, comes up short. LeBron, one on four. Yeah, that, that last step, he just exploded on him. Bursted right past the last defender, the safety. Finished with the left hand. Great pass, pinpoint right in the hands for the spot up shooter. Like it. Good thing LeBron does is he doesn't look at the person he wants to pass to all the time, so he was looking straight ahead. And then he saw the shooter there, but nobody else did. Ball swiped down, gets it right back up, and one. Lowers the shoulder, great pass to the outside shooter. That's crazy as hell, man. That's the league we're in. Christian Wood is out in the three-point line. LeBron is the biggest player on the court otherwise in the paint. Ain't no real centers anymore, man. Good finish by Bron. Sticking with the play, getting the rebound. A lot of extra possessions and secured possessions LeBron was able to create with those 16 big boards. Simple, simple, simple pass right back to you. Give it to me, cut to the basket, give it right back to you. Keep the defense shifting, keep their eyes shifting. Their tension shifting. Big bucket right there by Russ. Simple bounce pass. So LeBron, um, you know, you look at the box score, you see 20, uh, 24 points, 16 rebounds, 9 assists, almost a triple-double. Uh, don't get me wrong, I think the... the uh, the rebounds are stellar. I like seeing players active on the boards. Like I said, it creates extra possessions, secures possessions. 
Um, the nine assists, great passes by LeBron, nothing fancy, simple bounce passes, giving goes, touchbacks, things like that, finding players on the perimeter, drive and kick type thing. Um, you know, the, the I, I, I don't, listen, we all know LeBron has been much more active trying to score the basketball uh, as he reaches Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's scoring record and looking to, I guess, play a couple more years and really put that thing out of reach unless somebody really can match him on the longevity home front, right? But 9 for 28 shooting, not good. 0 for 7 from three-point land, not good. I've had a problem with LeBron James' shot selection for uh, many of the games this season and even last season. Um, I think LeBron sometimes plays out of his element. We all know LeBron James isn't a was never a scorer despite the counting numbers because of longevity and his ability to score in the paint, layups, fast breaks. But LeBron James, see, people get a, he's not a scorer. Like, a he's not a bona fide scorer. LeBron James is not a serious threat from anywhere out on the court. Mid-range, three-point land, fade away, you know, um, drifting back, leaning in forward doesn't really have great footwork from a scoring perspective he's not a scorer so while he may get that scoring record like I said that's counting numbers that's longevity over the amount of years being able to dominate in the paint especially over the last couple of years being that the league has went small and he's a large guy and he's still in shape kudos to him it has allowed him to continue to thrive in the paint being that there's no bigs waiting for him to beat him up and really challenge his body, but there's usually smaller players down there with all the small ball being played and the increased amount of possessions. So it's not a surprise I see LeBron James going nine for twenty-eight um, when he's really being forced, you know, outside of the box and really looking to score much more than we're used to seeing him. LeBron, because LeBron's not a bona fide scorer. You know, he's not one of the players where if he starts slow, there's a good chance that he's going to heat up and really, you know, catch fire uh, on a mean streak after struggling initially. I'm not saying that hasn't happened before with him. It has. But you can't really expect that. You know, if LeBron James starts off with a poor shooting night, uh, you can probably expect him to continue to shoot poorly because he's just not built like that from a scoring and shooting perspective. Um, so, you know, I wish he would have probably passed the ball a little bit more. You know, I'm not I'm not mad about the attempts. 28 attempts and a double overtime game isn't that absurd. But given his age, the amount of minutes he played, and his ability to find open players, I'd rather him have passed the ball a little bit more, and also considering that he was struggling, right? Considering that he was struggling, and I think that's very non-LeBron-like to continue to put up the shots when you're having a bad game. My opinion, let me know what you think about it. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified, and I'll catch you on the next one. We out, baby.